Greetings and good day, my elder. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm Welcome doing good. to Ghana. Yes, yeah, so what I want to connect with you today on is uh, why you decided to move here to Ghana and specifically why you like this wonderful area, Ningo, Prom Prom. Okay, um, I started coming to Ghana in 2016. Um, I don't know, being in the United States and my whole um, accumulation of experiences over time, um, I just started getting fed up. I was in my graduate school working on my doctorate degree, studying racism at the time. And then in, my, in the real world, you're hearing about Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin, and it was just, it was just starting to get to me. 2013, I knew it was time for me to leave the United States. There's nothing else for me to do. I struggled there. I didn't end up with too much. Uh, but I, I did come out with enough knowledge to know that I did not belong there anymore. And so, uh, again, I started coming here in 2016 because I met this young man, Demetrius Robinson, in the bookstore. And I told him, I didn't even know the guy. These people know him. And I said I wanted to come to Ghana. He said, I know people in Ghana. So a few months later, I called him. I said, I'm ready to go to Ghana. He said, well, Facebook my friend here and I, in Ghana. And I did. She invited me for the month of November 2016. It was like a magnet just kept drawing me here. I just couldn't stay away. So I ended up coming back uh, to live in uh, October 19, 2020. Uh, 2018, I started building my house up the road here. Uh, it, is, it is completed. And I'm telling I just feel, it's a natural feeling for me to be here. Uh, I, it took long, but I was stuck in that European mindset, I'm sure. But uh, now that I'm here, I can't even imagine going back. Oh, so you're not going back? No. I have loved ones there. I figured if they love me enough, they come to Africa. Right? <laughs> That's what's up. I love that one. I've spent most of my life in the United States. I don't see why I have to go back. Beautiful. It, it doesn't make sense. Absolutely. So, I'm going to end it like this. To people in the United States and in this room, you are in a matrix over there. From 1619 to present. And the best thing I can tell you, go to the nearest airport and get the heck out of the United States. Get out that matrix, because the, 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 the system just constantly recycles itself against African Americans. You know, nothing has really changed there for us. We have to, you know, make the changes for ourselves, and that's, I think that's what I did. I didn't depend on that system. I got away from the system to come here. Um, physically, I left for the United States, but of course I still have my culture. Culture is psychology. Psychology is culture. You know, it's hard to separate that. So that would be my, my final, uh, you know, thing to say. You know, this is our home. It's in our DNA. I felt like a magnet kept pulling me here. And I just can't imagine. I got grandchildren over there. I love them to death, but I probably won't ever see them again. But my thing is, then you come here. You know, just come to Africa. So I don't have a business here. I didn't come here to work. I came here to play. You know, enjoy the rest of my life. I'm not here to change nothing and get into politics and all that. I'm not doing that. And here, I don't feel distressed. My home is paid for. My land, I don't own nobody money. I don't have no bills. Okay, I got a water system. I don't pay water bills. I'm getting ready to get solar on my house so I don't have a light bill. So I'm off the grid. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And this wasn't something I planned 30, 40 years ago. This started in 2014. And I just never thought I would end up in Africa and living the way I'm living. So I would just encourage, you know, just, you know, keep coming. You know, if not here, maybe other African countries, and this is where this is who we are, whether we like it or not, for better or worse. I'm here. All right, I appreciate you. Are you open? Are you open to questions? Oh, sure. Does anyone have any questions? I want to sure. share anything. I just got a comment. Thank you for the advice. Oh, thank you. Although in regards to staying here, if they love you enough, they will come here because that was what I struggled with. Sure, you know, it makes it makes sense. Here. Yes. I'm not at, the, and I am not at my relative's mercy. Mm -hmm. I've been here most of my life. Why can't you get on the plane and come to Africa? If you don't like it, get back on the plane and go home. Yeah, right. So you have to do the same thing. Anyway, they don't touch you yeah. in America, probably. Say <laughs> <Those trips aren't laughs> that again. I said you probably don't see them that much in America. Exactly. Right? Before I came, I didn't see them. So right. Right. you know, what difference does it make at this point? I, I don't. Yeah. I'll go back and visit a little bit because why my mom came in a couple, you know, maybe two, three months. But, but you're right. When I when I was in the U.S. They didn't, they didn't visit me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm fine. I feel bad for them over there in that savage land called <laughs> the United Snakes of America. <laughs> I feel bad for them. I really do. I really do.
Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up at? Well, I'm initially from Philly, but I came here through New Jersey. My father, I spent most of my life in New Jersey. So initially, I'm from Philadelphia, South Philly. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. Well, appreciate your energy. Well, thank you. And I, I told, I told uh, Bomani when I when, he, when I saw him here, this guy got good intentions. He got a good heart. Don't believe the hype. He is promoting Africa. This man left a great job. I think, wasn't you building airplanes or something? Uh, aircraft technician. Aircraft technician. And, uh, yeah. Confronted and, and racism. Say, hey, I'm going to promote my continent to my people. So I applaud him and I support him 100%. 100%. Where's your my son? My son, uh, he didn't get up on time, so. <laughs> so we have to keep it moving. So he's there enjoying his palace at the hotel. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, you take Thank care. You. Thank you. Appreciate the family.